Our planet is almost 25,000 miles around and a staggering 4.5 billion years old. Yet sometimes we may forget just how incredible our home planet really is. One of the things about the mechanism that remains to be done. There's so much more to Earth than the basics we're taught in school. And even though humans have been around a really long time, we're still discovering some of the amazing secrets it's hiding. We're talking wild, weird, and wonderful finds that will likely blow your minds. But you gotta see it to truly believe it. 15 Strangest Discoveries Found on Earth, Part 2 Number 15 World's Largest Fish It was caught by a local fisherman in the northeast of Cambodia and nicknamed Boromi, or Full Moon, by locals because of its round shape. This giant stingray caught in the Mekong River is the world's largest recorded freshwater fish. It measured almost 13 feet from snout to tail and weighed 661 pounds. The previous record for a freshwater fish was a 646-pound Mekong giant catfish discovered in Thailand in 2005. This stingray was 15 pounds heavier, a clear winner. Researchers say it's the fourth giant stingray reported in the same area, all of them females. The fact that fish can still get this big is a hopeful sign for the Mekong River despite environmental challenges. The Mekong River runs through China, Thailand, Cambodia, and Vietnam. It's home to several species of giant freshwater fish, but environmental pressures are rising that may be seriously disrupting spawning grounds. Freshwater fish are defined as those that spend their entire lives in fresh water, as opposed to giant marine species such as bluefin tuna and marlin or fish that migrate between fresh and salt water like the huge beluga sturgeon. Experts think this may be a spawning hotspot for giant stingrays like this. Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. When a researcher discovers what no one was supposed to see, you know it's gonna be good. Can you believe that this place in an undisclosed location was concealed? And based on the image we see now, it looks like it was literally carved out of the stone that surrounds it. And based on the level of ornate detail, carvings of animals and deities, pillars and archways, this was clearly a very important structure. But who was responsible? Some archaeologists would say an ancient civilization with advanced architectural capabilities. But another theory is that it could have been constructed by extraterrestrials in collaboration with societies from the past. We just don't know. But whoever existed when this mystery structure was operational beyond a tourist destination, they could tell us. But what do you think it is? A temple? A shrine? Leave a comment with your thoughts with the hashtag open discussion. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly! Number 14. Underwater Yellow Brick Road If you're thinking researchers have uncovered the pathway to Oz underwater, you'd be wrong. But this discovery filled them with the same sense of wonder as the yellow brick road did Dorothy in that infamous movie, The Wizard of Oz. The crew of an exploration vessel recently caught sight of this formation while studying geology and biological systems in an area nearby islands close to Hawaii. They definitely weren't expecting a road paved in cobblestones. The vessel was at about 3,000 feet of depth when it reached a dry-looking surface, which was surprising since it's located underwater. This is bizarre, said one scientist. It's like brick. This is weird, another scientist is heard saying in the video. So the impressed researchers dubbed it the road to Atlantis. However, it's not a road to a mythical city. In fact, it's really an example of ancient active volcanic geology. The Wizard of Oz-esque formation highlights how often these ocean explorations can shed light on processes that are normally hidden away under the waves. The so-called road to Atlantis has been identified as a fractured flow of volcanic rock formed in high-energy eruptions where many rock fragments settle on the seabed. The brick-like patterns likely come from heating and cooling cycles connected to eruptions. Number 13. Maze Solving Mold These single-celled organisms can learn, navigate mazes, and perhaps help us gain a deeper insight into the structure of the universe itself. So do you need a brain to solve puzzles? Not if you're a slime mold. They come in a range of colors, and they can be found in woodlands throughout the world. 
in soils, on the branches or trunks, or dead trees, and in leaf litter. They feed upon other microbes such as yeast and bacteria. Some slime molds are beautiful, forming ornate tree-like shapes. So why should we care about them? To scientists, one particularly interesting group is the so-called plasmodial slime molds, which have evolved a spectacular way to find food. By continually replicating their genetic material without dividing into new cells, species of this group are able to become an enormous supercell. Slime molds illustrate that even simple organisms can exhibit behaviors, like solving mazes, usually encountered in animals with brains. Their efficiency for homing in on food, using chemical taste buds that direct its movement, has begun to pique the interest of town planners and transport engineers. By arranging the slime mold's favorite food in a petri dish in a way that replicates the locations of towns and cities, researchers can gain insights into how best to lay out routes. Number 12. Octopus Dreams Have you ever watched your pet sleep? Cats and dogs experience REM sleep, which means they're probably dreaming. And while evidence of the REM cycle has not far been seen in octopuses, they do have a kind of sleep twitch of their own. While they rest, some neuronal firing in their optic lobe causes their pigment-containing cells to become active. So to us, it looks like the sleeping octopuses flicker. The octopuses shift between colors and patterns while they snooze, as though they're reacting to something that only they can sense. These colors and pattern shifts seem consistent with real-world behaviors, and so researchers link them to possible real-life encounters. We don't really know for sure why we dream, but scientists believe it has something to do with the way the brain processes and stores memories. If that's the case, it would make sense that many animals dream, even cephalopods, like these, whose intelligence is rather different than ours. We do know that octopuses use their amazing color-changing ability for camouflage. You'd think involuntary color spasms would ruin that camouflage, but you can rest as easily as the octopuses on the score. They build themselves hidden dens where they retire for naps. Number 11. Bosnian Sphere In Bosnia, experts are looking at this rock with great interest, a sphere unearthed in a forest. Researchers believe it proves the existence of an advanced lost civilization dating back more than 1,500 years. Or is it just a very big rock? Why do they view this discovery as significant? First, it could prove that Southern Europe Balkan and Bosnia in particular were home to advanced civilizations from the distant past and we have no written records about them. Secondly, they had high technology, different than ours. Finally, they knew the power of geometrical shapes because the sphere is one of the most powerful ones. If the huge stone in Bosnia is found to be hewn by human hands, it would be the largest man-made stone ball ever found. Do other experts see the rock formation as proof of an ancient civilization that thrived there? Not entirely. Some scientists think the rock was likely a natural formation and not a human construct. The spherical stone may be an example of concretion. This is when a compact mass of rock is formed by the precipitation of natural mineral cement within the spaces between sediment grains. The grains are often spherical in shape. Other experts said the round shape of the rock could come from weathering. Number 10. Ghost Apples Nature is amazing, and it's certainly capable of creating some pretty amazing things, and one of the residents of Sparta, Michigan just happened to be in the right place at the right time to see one of the winter's most beautiful formations. They were pruning some apple trees after freezing rain had hit the area, and while they were working, they snapped a few pictures of what has since been dubbed Ghost Apples hollowed out ice casings of apples that were never harvested. The apples are of the Jonah Gold variety and the ice was estimated to be about a half inch thick. They said the apples felt like Christmas tree bulbs. So how exactly does something like this form? The flesh of some apples, especially those that remain on trees late after the harvest season, will decay into almost an applesauce-like consistency. The skin leaps in it like a filled water balloon. Due to a combination of freezing rain and prolonged sub-zero temperatures, ice initially encased the whole fruit. But then the rotted apple mush seeped out from the bottom of the icy sphere, leaving the detailed, hollowed-out impression of an apple. Growers have seen this occur before, and it's most common with Golden Delicious and Jonah Gold apples. Number 9. Giant Crystal Cave 
The Cave of Crystals is nestled deep underground near Chihuahua, Mexico. Since its discovery, the subterranean chamber has drawn researchers from around the world, enticing them with both rare beauty and scientific mystery. Miners searching for fresh ore deposits in 2000 came across the unexpected and awesome sight. Massive milky white crystals filled the horseshoe-shaped cave. This gigantic cavern is home to towering stacks of selenite, rising so tall that humans appear minuscule in comparison. In fact, the tallest crystals have been measured at 36 feet high, weighing approximately 55 tons. These giant crystals have experienced steady, slow growth over the past half a million years. Approximately two to three miles under the surface is a giant pool of magma. The caverns became flooded over time as a result of groundwater seeping in. This water was rich in gypsum materials and the heat generated by the magma worked like a cooker, maintaining a steady heat for 500,000 years. The gypsum in the water then transformed into the translucent selenite crystals that we see today. The magma within makes the cave unbearably hot and humid, and thus it remains largely unexplored. Number 8. Atacama Skeleton This has caused controversy among scientists for years. It's a skeletal figure made up of some pretty alarming features, and it's only 6 inches tall. The incredible find made in 2003 in the Atacama Desert in Chile had many folks thinking that it belonged to an alien. Frankly, it looks pretty alien-like to us. Check out the long, angular skull, slanted eye sockets, and fewer than normal ribs, 10 pairs rather than the normal 12. The skeleton, dubbed Atta, was featured in TV shows and documentaries in which researchers attempted to figure out its origins. So naturally, questions surrounding this discovery led to speculation that it was a previously unidentified primate or even an extraterrestrial life form. Apparently, that's not the case. DNA analysis would tell the story. A sample extracted from the bone marrow of the rib was used to conduct a whole genome sequence analysis. Some experts want to set the record straight. Ada is human albeit one with multiple bone disease associated mutations, although it's hard to believe. It was compared with human and primate genomes and determined to be a human female, probably a fetus with Chilean ancestry. Number 7. Kidney Stone Roller Coaster If you've ever had kidney stones, then you know it can be so painful. They're hard deposits made of minerals and salts that form inside your kidneys, and they eventually have to leave the body. They can range in size, from a tiny grain of sand to, in extreme cases, the size of a golf ball. Patients with kidney stones don't always need treatment because the stones can pass out of the body on their own. That's where the pain comes in. The stones must travel from the kidney down to the bladder and then exit the body through the urethra. But good news, doctors may have found an unconventional way to get rid of painful kidney stones. But it'll cost you a trip to Disney World. Researchers found that riding the Big Thunder Mountain Railroad roller coaster there could help ease the passage. According to a new study, they noticed that several patients had reported passing kidney stones after going on the ride. So, in an experiment, the researchers placed three kidney stones in a model kidney and took to the ride. The preliminary study's findings support the anecdotal evidence that a ride on a moderately intense roller coaster could benefit some patients with small kidney stones. Number 6. Half Plant, Half Animal Plants engage in a process called photosynthesis. That's where plants convert carbon dioxide and nutrients from the soil using sunlight to get the energy they need. The outcome of this process is oxygen. Go plants! But did you know that creatures called emerald green sea slugs do it too? This small-sized sea slug is commonly found in Northern America in any body of water such as salt marshes, tidal marshes, pools, and shallow creeks, not deeper than a couple of feet. Just like its name, it has a green color that resembles the color of the algae it feeds on. They also feed on algae to harvest the chloroplast from the plants. And the reason for them to harvest the chloroplast from algae is because they want the ability to photosynthesize themselves. Up until now, this is the only animal on Earth known to do such a thing. Since their discovery, scientists didn't know that this sea slug could do it. However, after 40 years of study and experiments, scientists finally found out that this sea slug actually can. 
By using its ability to create the nutrients by itself, this process of photosynthesizing allows the slug to survive for a very long time by merely depending on sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide. Number 5. Ancient Roman Fast Food Archaeologists studying the Roman city of Pompeii recently discovered something pretty unexpected, an ancient fast food restaurant. In fact, the newly discovered site is just one of 80 such restaurants that have been found in the ancient city. In the ancient Greco-Roman world, a thermopolium, from the Greek word meaning cook shop, or more literally a place where something hot is sold, was a commercial establishment where it was possible to purchase ready-to-eat food. Typical dishes served here would have included salty fish, baked cheese, lentils, and spicy wine. The excavations uncovered duck, pig, goat, and fish bones, as well as snail shells amid shards of pottery, suggesting that some kind of meat and seafood stew may have been on the menu. This fast food joint was a fixture of Pompeii way, way, way back in the day. Items on the ancient menu would have been displayed in large jars set in holes carved in the stone counter. But how was this fast food restaurant so well preserved? The answer is a massive volcanic eruption. The city's sudden destruction with the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in the year 79 AD instantly covered food and cookware, leaving a record of its own citizens' day-to-day -day life frozen in time. Number 4. First Computer on Earth In the genius and mystery of this piece of ancient Greek technology, arguably the world's first computer, you see evidence of at least two dozen gears laid neatly on top of one another calibrated with the precision of a master-crafted Swiss watch. Archaeologists dubbed the instrument the Antikythera Mechanism. More than a century ago, an archaeologist was sifting through objects found in the wreck of a 2,000-year-old vessel off a Greek island and found the most peculiar thing. A series of brass gears and dials mounted in a case the size of a clock. After a careful study of the gears, it was determined that the mechanism was used to predict the position of the planets and stars in the sky, depending on the calendar month. It was a computer in a sense that you as a user could input a few simple variables and it would yield a flurry of complicated mathematical calculations. The ancient clock had its code written into the mathematical ratios of its gears. All the user had to do was enter the main date on one gear and through a series of subsequent gear turns, the mechanism could calculate things like the angle of the sun crossing the sky. This is amazing considering mechanical calculators, which used gear ratios to add and subtract, didn't arrive in Europe until the 1600s. Number 3. Horned Helmets Henry VIII was a king of England from 1509 until his death in 1547, and this amazing horned helmet belonged to him. It was one of the most iconic pieces of armor ever. It formed part of a magnificent armor, commissioned in 1511 by a Holy Roman Emperor as a gift for the young king. Originally, the helmet had a silver gilt panels placed over rich, velvet cloth. The glasses were added because Henry VIII was actually nearsighted. The decoration on the over-the-top mask is etched with lifelike facial details. If you look closely, you can see the stubble on the chin and crow's feet around the eyes. There's also a pronounced drip beneath the nose. A pair of ram's horns, beautifully modeled in sheet iron, complete this extraordinary piece. The horn helmet is technically called an armet, with protection for the skull, hinged cheek pieces, and a face defense, developed in the 15th century. It was distinguished by being the first helmet of its era to completely enclose the head while being compact and light enough to move with the wearer. It was also made for use in pageants rather than for combat. The king might have worn it at a special event, such as a parade that accompanied tournaments or costume galas. Number 2. Parking Lot King In the years since it was exhumed, this royal skeleton has given up plenty of secrets, and research continues to find out more. The story goes as follows. In 1485, King Richard III was killed at the Battle of Bosworth, and it was long believed that the king's bones were thrown into a river. But many had doubts. A number of researchers believed the remains were still buried underneath this car park in Leicester, England. And sure enough, five months after a dig began, experts confirmed the skeleton unearthed by archaeologists was, in fact, Richard III. The dating of the bones and the matching of DNA handed down from his mother through the unbroken female line with two living relatives established beyond reasonable doubt that the body really was the king's. 
In 2015, his coffined bones were carried on a horse-drawn hearse and properly buried. A solemn procession accompanied the remains back to the battlefield and other sites associated with the king's last day. It coincided with the anniversary of the date the king was killed at the Battle of Bosworth. The grave is displayed as it was found, protected by a stone and glass pavilion. The discovery was transformed the once shabby area around the cathedral, which now welcomes visitors from all around the world. Number 1. Laser Rock The puzzling Al Nasla rock formation sits in Saudi Arabia's arid Tama oasis. Usually, when you see something like this, there's a logical explanation. The rock is sliced so precisely that it looks like it was cut with a laser. And because of that, it's become a hot topic of debate on the internet and amongst archaeologists too. Some people think aliens, others are convinced it's perfectly natural. This sandstone block is connected to what looks like an eroded natural pedestal. It's approximately 30 feet tall and 25 feet wide and has been embellished with a petroglyph, a rock carving made using a chisel and a hammerstone, of what appears to be a man and a horse. However, it's the rock formation's defining feature, the split, that has sparked fierce debate. On Reddit, one user said, I'm not saying it was aliens, but it was aliens. However, some experts think that the split could have been caused by weathering, but other researchers believe that the most likely thing is the ground shifted underneath one of the two supports and the rock split. The perfect slice between the two standing stones and the flat faces is completely natural. Al Nasla is one of the most photogenic petroglyphs in the area. The perfect slit between the two standing stones and the flat faces make for a popular photo op. The Earth never disappoints. That's the best thing about our planet. It never fails to reveal interesting and entertaining discoveries to the delight of scientists, even regular folks like us. So like and subscribe if you want more, cause it's on the way.